It's just a good energy kind of day. And an absolute dream. We love. You name it, your legs are fried. He's now in isolation for seven days. Oh, I love it. How many pairs of glasses do I need? Yay. for the weekly vlog, weekly vlog number four. Why do I sound like a radio presenter? <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another weekly vlog number four for the year. Let's get it going. Good energy, good vibes. It's gonna be a good day. The weather today is immaculate. It is blue skies. The sun is pouring down. I just, I feel so good when it's sunny and the weather is nice. Like it just, I don't know, it fills my soul, makes me feel really good. Um, and I feel like every YouTuber I've been watching from Brisbane or just like Queensland in general <laughs> has been commenting on the weather because it's so iffy. Like it's been so cloudy, a little bit moody. And so this weather is just an absolute treat. But good morning, it is Monday. I'm just having my green smoothie for breakfast and I'm about to get ready to go to Pilates to start off the week of workout. It's gonna be a good week. I feel like there's some fun stuff on. We're gonna hustle and get some work done, make some moves. I'm very, very excited. A lot of cool stuff coming that I I will hopefully be able to tell you guys about soon. It's just a good energy kind of day. You know what I mean? Today, I obviously I'm going to Pilates and then I'm pretty much just going to be at my desk getting computer work done today. Um, I also have a Coles grocery order to click and collect. That's kind of the plan for today. My cute little pajama set from Piyama. You guys know my favorite pajama brand. So cute. It's like the rattan print. It's in green. Super nice and super comfy. The material is beautiful. Also, I don't know why this sounds sponsored. I'm just showing you guys my pajamas that I bought because I really like them. Cute pajamas just always makes me feel good in the morning, you know? I have just gotten to Pilates. Such an effort getting ready this morning. One of those mornings where you just like, you've got an outfit in mind, you try it on and then you look in the mirror and you're like, mm, this isn't gonna work today. I was trying to make it work. I had like my gray leggings on and they were just really like not vibing with me. They weren't giving me a camel toe, but they just weren't flattering. I don't think I've ever had that problem with those pants before. I was really stressed. I don't know how I feel about what I'm wearing right now, but look, it's gonna have to do for a 45 minute Pilates class. But yeah, this is probably the last class with this program. We do like a different program in Pilates each month and like change it up. Um, so this should be the last one doing what we're doing now. This one's actually quite nice because it's a little bit more like leg focus. We do like a leg burner right at the start and we like burn out calves, quads, you name it, your legs are fried. And then we start doing like arm work, which is actually really, really hard. We've got those like little handheld weights that you use in Pilates um, and it really maxes out your muscles super fast. Yeah, I've really been enjoying this session of Pilates. Then we're going to pick up groceries on the way home and get stuck into work. I've also got a reel to edit today so that should be fun. Fingers crossed that goes well. I have very bad luck with reels. Like I'll edit them and I don't know every time something just goes wrong like it like crashes on me. It doesn't save my reel. The reel like glitches in the middle. There's always some sort of problem with them so it'll be a miracle if we get it up in one go, in one hit. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Pilates and I'll probably talk to you guys later today. Hello guys, it is Monday night now. It is 7.30 and I'm just upstairs watching some YouTube. I got a little candle on, cute little setup. Today I've just been working. Um, I edited a really cool reel actually that I posted tonight onto my Instagram. It's like my morning routine. This one. I really liked how it turned out and I really wanna film more of these kind of like routine reels or like lifestyle reels they're like my favorite things to do and i want to do more of the things that like allow me to i don't know feel a bit more fulfilled in my creative outlet 
So yeah, if you watch that reel, we have any ideas on what other reels I can film, please let me know. It's been a little bit of a weird night. I'll give you guys a bit of an update. Um, you guys have been so cute asking about Pav. I've like spoken to so many of you in my DMs on Instagram, checking in to see how he's going and how the Australian team's going over in Saudi. And literally the past week, they have just been dealt so many rough cards and it's been really I guess like stressful at home because you're not really in that environment and I'm only hearing like little bits here and there. It's been really difficult. I'm not not gonna lie um, the past like week because by the time Pav wakes up, it's like four o'clock our time and I normally only talk to him for a couple of hours a day, which is like, we're not used to that at all. Um, but I find comfort knowing that it's only for a short time um, and he will be home in middle of next week. It is the 24th of January today, but they have just been dealt so many rough cards. So they played three games um, and you would have seen that in the last vlog. I think all the days are kind of mushing together. <laughs> but yeah, then after that last game, they pretty much all got COVID. The team got wiped. So many went into like isolation in Saudi in their hotel and they got dealt some really rough cards from the Federation. It's kind of like organizing the tournament um, and they've just been treated so poor like it's so hard to be here and not be able to do anything but yeah they've pretty much all just been like room bound and then Pav got really sick a couple of days ago had pretty much all the COVID symptoms but was testing negative on his rat test and yesterday he tested positive on a PCR test so he's now in isolation for seven days and Australia is the only team in this tournament that is actually following the COVID protocols blows my mind whole nother rant but yeah now he's got covid in saudi and he's isolating in his hotel room they get like given meals and that's pretty much it um he's lucky that he got to play at all yeah it just really sucks because all of these boys so different to like other olympic sports or like other teams that play for australia who go on all of these trips and they're funded all of these boys have paid to represent Australia, um, which is just insane. And Pav spent so much money on this trip for it to play out like it did. Like I know COVID's around and like, you know, that was the risk that they took going over there, but it's still just really sad. Um, so yeah, he's supposed to be flying out in eight days, but he has to isolate for seven. So we're cutting it very fine, um, but he has had it for a couple of days. So hopefully, you know, he's already done like his time. So yeah, been a bit stressful this afternoon, <laughs> realizing that like, you know, he won't play anymore. Um, he's a bit bummed about that. I'm bummed I don't get to watch Watch him and support him but then also like coming home is a whole other issue so just really hoping he can come home next week the past like three weeks have gone fast and slow at the same time there's just been a lot going on that's kind of the update on pav sorry to be a bit of a bummer i think we're all just in a bit of a a low mood tonight oh i'm so tired but yeah i'm just gonna sit in bed catch up on some youtube because i haven't really been keeping up to date and that's not like me so i'm gonna do that and have an early night tonight guys happy tuesday it is 10 30. we've had a very very productive morning how good we love to see it i've had a bit of editing to do um and also like some email collaboration stuff to sort out which is so exciting and i edited a new reel i was telling you guys yesterday i want to do like more creative kind of reels yeah i did a journaling one this morning that i filmed and edited all of that today and i'm really excited about it very happy with that i've edited the weekly vlog so far and i've been doing that lately to like keep on top of the vlog rather than just like editing a whole 
whole hour's worth of footage at the end of the week because it gets a little bit much. Can you see how red my face is? It is so hot and sticky. I am just in the car though, heading out to physio. I am hoping this is my last like rehab appointment for a little while. I'm feeling better, but I still have a few things that I need to work on, but hopefully I don't have to come as regularly. So I've been going to the physio every single week. But yeah, I did a cardio session this morning. I did some more running. Not my favorite thing in the world, but we're getting better. And yeah, just had a really good morning. I made an order of some like health food supplements and stuff from Botanica Blends. If you've been watching me for years, you will know my obsession with Botanica. Literally, as soon as I started going to the gym, I think like a good three, four years ago, I started buying their protein powder. And you guys know I have a protein smoothie every single morning. And then I got Pav onto them last year and an absolute dream. I am now gonna be working with them, um, which is insane to me. Like, you know, I've been doing YouTube and social media stuff for like seven something years and it still honestly blows my mind when I get to work with cool brands and, you know, do this kind of stuff. Like, it's so insane to me and I'm so, so grateful to you guys that I am able to do this. But yeah, like a dream collaboration, like literally have been using them for three to four years and have been obsessed. So yeah, that's exciting. So I just made like a big order to stock myself up because I'm running low on a whole bunch of things. So yeah, that order might come this week maybe towards the end of the week so i'll show you guys that as well very very exciting ah! and i also have some other cool parcels coming today of stuff that i bought um so i'll show you guys that today when the postie delivers but anyway i'm gonna go to physio now i'll talk to you guys later today hey friends it is one o'clock i've just gone home from physio had some lunch mm -hmm. and i got one of the packages that i was expecting today so i thought i would open this one with you um i bought this myself this is from uh petal and pop yay the first thing i got was a new pair of sunny oh cool they have uv protection i just thought the style of them was cool how many pairs of glasses do i need i do not need any more but i just thought that they were a really cool design oh <gasps> yes oh my god i love them yay i love this style so much i feel like it's just the most flattering and i like sunglasses that don't have that little like nose piece so that when i put it on my head it doesn't like you know get caught in your hair i got a pretty dress you guys already know we love green so excited to try this on yeah it's like a linen-y material Can you guys see the material cute oh my gosh yeah i probably need to try this on so I'm gonna go do that and I'll show you. You guys, this is the dress. Ah! I'm so glad it looks good. So cute, I love this style. I have another dress from Beginning Boutique that's like in this style and I love it. I feel like it's really flattering as well. It's like a midi length, it's really flattering. I love the color and the cut. I'm so obsessed with strapless tops at the moment and it's got little like sticky things on the top so that it like doesn't fall down, which is really nice. I was worried it might not have that. And then. That's the back. I'm definitely gonna take this on my holiday next weekend. Oh my God, next weekend. Ah! So, so excited. I'm praying everything works out. Pav and I are going to the sunny coast. And my princess Polly parcel came. So another thing I bought myself, I got these little like, you know, those like choker necklaces. These are like an orange set. We can wear them all individually. Look at these. <gasps> Stop. Look how cute they are. And then I got this. Bit of a moment. It is very bright. It feels really nice. Yeah, it feels really good. Whoa, this is so bright. <laughs> this is such a look how bright it is on camera. It is that times four in real life. But yeah, it's like this little cap sleeve midi dress. You guys can see it like the print. It's kind of like 90s. And I just thought this could look really cool. Like, yeah, kind of like your hair up like this. Some white sneakers, a white bag, 90s beach girl vibe. Guys, I love it. It is so cute and flattering. I'm so surprised. Like, it's so flattering. The material's really soft and stretchy. Oh my gosh, I love the little capped sheer sleeves. I'm so excited. It's like a cute little white bag. Stop! I love it. Here's some better lighting for you guys to see the dress in. It is so stretchy. Mwah. Love it. I'm definitely taking this on my holiday. Good 
morning guys happy wednesday i never vlog beforehand when i like i'm not sweaty and red i'm literally dripping like my legs have sweat dripping down them that was a good session though i did lower body weights today um and i felt really nice and strong which was good i feel like i'm getting back into things at a level that i'm kind of like yeah that's good there were so many people here today like oh, i'm so out of breath give me a sec there was so many people here at the gym today um because it's a public holiday so oh, yeah i didn't really think of that like people obviously aren't going to work today but yeah today isn't a really crazy day not a lot happening i have a lot of like boring admin stuff to do and just like computer work have a bit of family time today last night though i got up at 11 um to watch the australian handball team you guys know pab's overseas but he has COVID, so he's just like isolating um in the hotel for like another five days or something before he comes home so his part in the tournament i guess is kind of over um some of his friends like some of the guys from brisbane who have had COVID and have been isolating for the previous seven days this is like their first game on the court so i wanted to wake up and still like support them and be the boys that haven't been on the court yet oh my god an absolute stitch up i'm not even gonna go into it like it's a huge rant oh my goodness those poor boys over there they are just having such a rough time the tournament organizers are just screwing australia over so much it's such a wild thing like everybody's up in arms about it and i'm really hoping they get penalized or fined or something because the way that they have treated the oz boys and also like the way that they've run this competition like as I said before, Australia is the only team that's following COVID protocols and actually testing and getting people with COVID off the court, isolating them. Um, so all the other boys are probably just chucking in people with COVID. It's contact sports, so spreading it to everyone. And yeah, it's an absolute mess, but I really do feel for the boys over there like Pav was saying he just wants to come home now like such a mess and it's not what they went over there for and besides they've spent like so much of their own money like they fund their own trip it's not like they just went over there for free they've all paid to go over there and represent their country and to be treated like this as a result is just so sad it was not a fun night i was up for a couple of hours just talking to pav because he was pretty upset it's a whole mess they'll be home next week hopefully if all goes to plan um but yeah hopefully something gets done about that because it's very unjust anyway i'm gonna go home make some breakfast and get a bit of work done this morning <laughs> now we just had some family time today which was nice but this afternoon i wanted to do a little bit more for myself i'm feeling a little bit gross this afternoon so i decided i bought up a whole bunch of fresh produce at the fruit market last weekend and decided to make another one of my juices you guys know i'm getting back into making these and loving it as you saw all i use is orange carrots apple and today a little bit of lemon but yeah i've been getting a lot of questions on my instagram about my juices firstly for produce i would recommend going to like a local fruit market or or somewhere that's not like a, a normal supermarket because I have bought my juicing stuff from there before um, and it can get quite expensive I think all up I got a kilo bag of oranges for like five dollars a bag of apples for two or three dollars and the carrots are two dollars for a kilo bag under ten dollars for a bottle of juice which is definitely worth it you can pay like 15 20 dollars depending on what you put in it at the supermarket and this is my juicer too I've already taken the lid off popped it in the dishwasher but I get a lot of questions about which one I use it's literally just the Kmart one and really good so you only have to hand wash this little blade bit everything else can get chucked in the dishwasher so it's super easy to clean up i'll show you the box this is the box i don't know if they still sell this one anymore but that's the one that i bought and it makes like one bottle of juice so if you're making it for more people or want to make more juice like this is probably the max it could make because as you can see the discard or like the waste is pretty full so i need to empty that even though i have this all the time let's do a taste test cheers the oranges aren't as um, strong as they were in the last one. When you took a sip of the last one, very spicy, very good.
happy Thursday. I have just gotten ready for the day, as you saw, just did my makeup. It's been a good morning, got a lot of work done, spent a lot of time at my computer, and now, like, this afternoon, um, I kind of have to do some more creative stuff, which is fun. I just got in some packages that I thought I would share with you guys and open. We love an unboxing. Maybe I don't need scissors. First one is from Booktopia. If you guys remember a couple of vlogs back, I bought new books and I haven't been reading since I finished my last book because I was waiting for these. One is on back order, so it's not going to come for another like four weeks or something, which is fun. Oh my God. Yeah. A new book oh my god i can't wait to start reading i'm so excited ah! so the first one that i got was the resilience project it's book number two the first one is incredible and this one is called let go it's time for us to let go of shame expectation and our addiction to social media highly recommend hugh he is incredible and some of the stuff he's taught me i literally still use today i don't know which one i'm gonna start first and then the next one is a book that i have been wanting to read for the longest time and i just never got around to buying it it's the five love languages the secret to love that lasts i am so into learning people's love languages knowing my friends partners family i think it's so important to understand people's love languages yeah i kind of just got this for a little bit more insight pav even wants to read it as well we might take this on our little holiday and then i ordered some things maybe a week or two ago from chemist warehouse i just needed to pick up some more bits and pieces and i haven't really been going shops like I haven't been to the shop since last year first thing I got was my vital greens powder I use this a lot um like I go through greens powders so quickly finally oh I could have used this today I have not had highlighter brush over a year now like almost two years I broke it like the handle snapped off and I just never bought another one and I'm so sick of like holding it like right at the bottom kind of thing yay this is just one from Revlon I got some vitamins as well I really wanted some kind of like stress relief anxiety kind of ones so I got these two to try the first one is from kind it's the stress relief ashwagandha 6000 so excited to give that a go and then the other one is mind calm from Healthy Care. I believe they were both on special when I made the order. I got some dental floss. Teeth hygiene is important, my friends. A little stock up of two products that I use like every day in my makeup. Every day. I rarely do my makeup. Just my go-tos. Georgia, stop. Oh my gosh, why am I so jittery? Anyway, Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, the OG in transparent. And then this is my favorite mascara, the CoverGirl uh, Super Sizer. If you're looking for a new mascara, I would recommend. I got two of the um, pure nail polishes from Sally Hansen. They're like the vegan one. And I got these two shades. So the pinkier one is called Pink Moon. And the more like mauve neutral one is called Red Rock Canyon. I think I might put this on my nails next. I'll do them in the next couple of days then I got a uh, little like fluffy brush for when I tan I like to use it to like buff in the tan how do I open it the heck is this oh I see is there blood on me am I bleeding anyway it's just a little nude by nature brush oh cute that's gonna be so good for buffing in tan wow and then <laughs> Why can't I use my hands? Guys, you're witnessing something that's very wrong with me. Bondi Sands Protect and Tan Coconut Beach Tanning Oil. Um, this one's got a spray, which is nice. And then I got some body wash. I really like the Palm Olives Natural one. I got the Shea Butter and the Orchid. Mwah. So that's all from Chemist Warehouse. It's getting very hot in this thick robe. And then we've got the Botanica Blends Parcel. This is a dream come true. I already spoke about it in this vlog, but man, I am just so, so grateful. Oh my God, it's like Christmas. So we've got a little Botanica Blends protein shaker. This is one of the products that I have been wanting to try from them for ages. It is their beauty potion um, in the flavor Berry Nice. It's a vegan collagen booster. I just finished using a collagen powder that did not agree with me. It wasn't vegan and it just did not sit well with me. So I'm really, really excited. I'm hoping this works well just to have as like a morning drink. Mix it in with some water. That is what she looks like. I got a vegan protein bar in the lemon cheesecake. 
Bickies. I've got the Botanica Bickies protein cookies. Oh my god. This looks so good. Oh yeah, I forgot. I've got some mug cakes. This is the choc chip cookie dough mug cake. And the other flavor is choc chip banana bread. Very excited. And then I got a few little samples. So they're Botanica Brekkie um, protein porridge in the caramel popcorn. The caramel popcorn protein is one of my favorites. They didn't have it in stock, unfortunately. And then their green alchemy greens powder. You guys know I have greens powder most mornings. This is one of their um, plant proteins. I've never tried this flavor and I always like getting the samples first to try it before I buy the full size, if you know what I mean. This is the double shot iced coffee. If you know, I like my coffee. So excited to give that a go too. And then some of their um, Bickies. These are seriously so good as a snack. I love taking them on the go and just like popping them in my bag in case I get hungry. We've got the birthday cake one, lemon poppy seed, and then peanut butter and jelly. I buy these all the time. But yeah, that's my haul. I am gonna get ready for the day. I've got a bit of like shooting to do and stuff. Um, and then this afternoon after lunch, I'm going to go get my hair done with my mum. So excited. I got it done in October last year. So it is definitely in need of a freshener. A little bit longer than I would like. So I'm gonna get a bit of a chop, I think. Gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna get my bangs cut again because my fringe grew out. I definitely like having the little shorter bits. So I'm gonna get my fringe cut, get it nice and fresh and blonde, a little bit more blonde in the front. That is what I'm after. So very excited to get my hair done today. I just got changed and realized I didn't show you the biggest part of the Botanica parcel. I have protein. So good because I am running low and I needed to get a stock up. So this is my favorite just because it's so universal and so easy this is the vanilla cake batter flavor so good and the botanica products like they're free from dairy gluten refined sugar organic ingredients prebiotics probiotics and digestive enzymes it is so so easy on my gut which i love such such a blessing to be able to work with a brand that i've used for years you know bought all of the products on my own before and it's product that i truly truly back you guys know i only work with companies that fully back and things that i actually believe in and i can tell you this has worked for me for years i've loved it for years so very excited you'll definitely see a lot more of these products throughout my videos and on instagram and stuff if you do want to pick anything up or you want to try out any of the products i will have my discount code in the description in every video for you guys along with all my other ones but it is just gk10 for 10 percent off um so you can use that site wide um and i'll also put that on the screen i also put on the little necklace that i got from princess polly earlier in the week i'm gonna go put all this stuff away get stuck into some creative content You guys, here she is, the new hair. Look how short it is. I think this is probably the shortest that I've gone. I wanna say it is curled, obviously. Do we think nice and blonde? I've got my fringe back. Depending on how I like style it, it can be bangs or I can sweep it off. I love, and look how dark it is underneath. That's like my old, like we don't touch that anymore. That's like my old dyed hair. Oh my God. I love it. How good does this look? I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder because this just looks so strange on camera. It's actually short. This is going to be so good for washing my hair and like styling it. And it gets a little bit too long. <laughs> it just is such an effort. So I feel like this will be really good when I go away next weekend, like go for swims. It's not as much of a hassle to like wash my hair and then like straighten it. <gasps> we love i'm gonna finish off my reel take some photos and then i'm gonna film my q a and i need to do that before the lighting goes bad because it's like almost four o'clock yes yeah, so i need to go and get that done good morning guys happy friday it is 6 a.m i've just come down to make my coffee so hard to get up this morning it is like pouring down rain which is not a vibe but i'm just making my coffee and i'm gonna try the botanica blends vegan collagen booster <laughs> now quarter to one i've just sat down to have some lunch i just made a salad wrap with like a veggie patty on it. it looks yum i also straightened my hair because it went really gross after the gym i think i prefer it curled i don't know how to style like short hair so this weekend sometime i'm gonna practice oh yes mm. today i've had a super productive day so far i completely edited the q a that i filmed yesterday i just have to do the description box thumbnail for that so that's all ready to go for next week 
Oop, didn't realize we were zoomed in. And then I've got some work for the Hamble Club social media to do. So I think I'm going to get that all organized and do a little bit of planning as well. And then write my to-do list for this weekend. Because there's some stuff that I just want to get done at some point over the next two days. But it's been a really productive day. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> It is Friday night. I've just made myself a sleepy hot chalk because I'd love to get a good night's sleep tonight. I had such a productive day today, so I'm feeling really good going into the weekend, knowing that like I've just organized a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of things for the next couple of weeks are sorted. Um, which is good because then when Pav comes home next week, I'm on top of things. But yeah, tonight I am just gonna chill in my room. I am watching the last Oz handball game um, for the boys, which is tonight in about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna watch the boys. Obviously, Pab's not playing because um, he's still isolating from COVID, but the other Brisbane boys are playing. So I'm gonna support them, support the team. Looking forward to that. And then get a nice, nice sleep. I'm really excited because tomorrow morning I like have finished gym for the week. So I don't have anywhere to be tomorrow morning. And I'm really excited because I'm hoping my body will want to rest. <laughs> because I don't really have anything that needs to be done. But yeah, I'm going to end off this weekly vlog here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me this week. I've truly, truly been enjoying the weekly vlogs and chatting to you guys and keeping you updated. And I don't know, I just feel like this is my best friends and we're all just like catching up every week and I love it. So I hope you guys have been too, but stay safe and look after yourselves and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye guys. Bye.